These are my nails. I did the matching toes. Look super pretty. I did a different shape. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am doing a self-care Saturday. I just went and got my nails done and I got a pedicure and I went into Marshalls and just grabbed a couple things. I needed um, some more hair cream and some like hairspray type thing. <laughs> so I went in there for a little bit and kind of just like browsed and looked around, but I figured I would treat myself, do a little self-care Saturday since I don't get to do this often. The boys uh, spent the night over at my brother's. Um, they love going over there, so they stayed the night. So I took advantage of some mommy time and some self-care time. I am starving now. It is about one o'clock. I've been at the mall and getting my nails done for the last two hours, so I'm starving. And I'm gonna do something, you guys, that I've never done that I always like say I wanna do and everybody always recommends to do. I'm gonna go take myself out for lunch and I'm gonna go have lunch by myself. I really want Chinese, so I'm gonna go to the Chinese buffet. It's a start. I've never, I'm not even kidding, I've never like went and ate anywhere by myself. So I'm gonna go do that and then go home. I might go into Kohl's and look around, see if they get any good clearance, just kind of last minute things for the boys. I really still need to find Tank and Samir a pair of shoes because their size is size one, that very popular size, like the first size and two big boy shoes. And I'm struggling to find shoes that I like for them. So I might go into Kohl's before I go home. And then once I go home, I'm gonna work out and shower. My house is clean and I'm just gonna enjoy self-care Saturday. If it is your first time tuning in, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Amber. I am a full-time working mom of three boys ages nine, six, and five. And I share lots of motherhood content, cleaning, cooking, just motivational videos to motivate other women that are just like me to just get stuff done and be a boss mom and all of the above. I'm actually going to go eat first because I'm legit starving and then I might go into Hobby Lobby. I did it guys you I had lunch all by myself and I enjoyed it and of course I would do that <laughs> so now I'm gonna go on Hobby Lobby with um I think that was like teriyaki sauce that's like down my shirt but that was really nice that was a great experience it was like a whole different vibe sitting there and like people watching and eating at my own pace I was in there for like an hour but it was nice to just eat and look around and just chill with no rush, not having to talk to anybody. I mean, I did talk to the kids. They uh, video chatted me while I was eating just because they were messing me, but it was really nice to just sit there and enjoy myself. I posted on Snap a picture of me taking myself out to eat and I got so many messages like, you know, you have to enjoy your own company because how can you expect to enjoy it with someone else if you can't even enjoy spending time by yourself. And I was like, that is an amazing point of view to look at it from that view. I've never thought about it like that. <sighs> Definitely gonna do this more often. I think the next step that I wanna do is actually go see a movie by myself, but that might be for a different day. So you guys, I am back home. I did not go to Hobby Lobby because my stomach started hurting really, really bad. I had really bad intense pains. You guys know I'm having gallbladder issues and it doesn't matter what I eat. Sometimes I get these attacks, sometimes I don't. I've been taking medicine that's been like helping, but that medicine also has been making me only eat like once a day, same time. Uh, so I came home because my stomach was hurting. So I'm home and it is actually three o'clock. I needed to get home by a certain time because I'm actually going on a date tonight. <laughs> so I gotta get ready. I gotta shower. I gotta do my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna have my hair curly, if I'm gonna curl it, straighten it. I don't know yet, but I have to be ready by six and it's three. So I said, I just need to go home. Cause if I go on Hobby Lobby, I was gonna probably be in there for like an hour or longer. And then I was gonna be like rushing to get ready. But I did get my Timu order. So I'm gonna show you guys that haul real quick of everything that I got on my Timu haul. I got a lot of stuff, a lot of goodies. 
that I'm really excited for. I know a lot of people kind of feel like up and down about Timu. I like it. If you don't, that's okay. If you do, great. We all are able to make our own decisions on if we want to buy something or not, but I actually love it. And so far, everything that I've gotten from Timu has been really good quality and is still withstanding. withstanding. Like that tumblers I bought, those things are amazing. When I went to South Dakota, I took the cup with me and my cousin was actually impressed. We went hiking, left my tumbler full of ice because I was using it just to keep ice so we could have ice water. We left the tumbler in the car while we went to, when we were in, we were actually in Wyoming when, at this point, uh, we went on this hike and it was like almost 100 degrees outside in a hot car and the ice was still like frozen. She was like impressed. Like, yeah, I'm going to order me one. My ice will literally last through to the next day. So I stand behind their tumblers and I think they are legit. So I got me another one <laughs> along with some other stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I got. So the first thing I got was this uh, tier trade set. It included the little stand to put your little items on and a bunch of different signs. Really, really cute. I have a tear tray for my coffee bar. I have a lot of things on it, but I like this variety. So if I ever want to switch it up and kind of do like a refresh, it'll be nice to have many different options. It also came with this, with the little beads. I thought that was really cute. This sign was speaking to me. <laughs> Life happens, coffee helps. I really liked this cute little mug one as well. And these are just wooden signs. This one came with it, and then I also realized I did this one separately, not really realizing that they both said the same thing, just different font. So I might actually give one of these to my sister-in-law because I don't need two of them. And then it also included this little cute little mug. This is cute. I thought this was adorable. And then here is my new tumbler. I really wanted this one last time, but I did the lilac and the blue. So I did decide to do the white leopard print really cute I almost did cow print but I'm like okay I like cow print but I really liked this one too because I like the white with the stainless steel and I also did order extra straws for the cups so this is a pack of six and it even includes the straw brush so this would be good for all my other tumblers because I have other t cups that are tall and I lost the straws for so this will work out perfect just clear straws nothing too fancy and then I did get this cute little stand originally i thought i would put it by my sink to put my hand soap and dish soap on the riser but i'm like with this wood i think it's just going to get water damaged so i'm going to save this i'm getting ready to decorate for fall within the next week or so so i think on my counter somewhere i can put like a little sign some little cute little pumpkins or something so i'll use that for something i did get this little pizza cutter this little handheld one thought it was cute this is what I'm really excited for since I make lunches and Tank does not like crust. I got the Uncrustable Sandwich Maker. So it comes with the full, I didn't even take this out of the package, so let me take it out. So it has a couple different sizes. This is the bigger size with that one. And then there's also the smaller one. That's cute, can make little mini peanut, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So that was a full set. I got that, I'm really excited to use that. So that way, right now what I do, I just cut his sandwiches out in a circle with a round circle thing that I already have sandwich cutter. Uh, but I really wanted to get this Uncrustable one. I've had my eye on that for a while actually. And then I did also get Tank and Samir each a water bottle for school. Doesn't matter who gets what. Um, they're just little submarines, spaceship ones. I grabbed two of these bags. These are freaking huge. I've had my eye on these forever. You know, when I went to Nashville, they had this store that had these, but these were expensive as hell. And then I started seeing people buy these on Timu and I was like, I gotta order me some. So the material, it's like a cute little fuzzy material. I did the snacks one. I figured this would go cute, um, you know, in that um, bog knockoff bag that I got last, my last order, the pink. So when me and the boys are out somewhere, I could take that bag and throw snacks and different things. I don't even gotta just put snacks. But then I got this one for me for like, if I'm going somewhere, little trips or anything. Got cow print and I love the teal with the gold around it. But I got this to put uh, like hair stuff, lotions, body soap, things like that for traveling for myself. 
I did get Tink and Samir also these little lunch boxes. These are kind of like the little bento lunch boxes. They're very easy to open. See, I can open this with one hand. So that'll be really good for the boys. They're able to get these open for their lunch. And I like the little compartments. So I can even make those little mini peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and have their chips and everything. Cause what I was doing last year was putting everything in baggies for Tank. You guys know he's picky as heck. So I always made him a lunch every day. Lakin will eat lunch at school. He doesn't care about a packed lunch, but I wanted to get something that was gonna be easier for Lake, uh, Tank and Samir. And that way I didn't have to buy a bunch of baggies and all of that so I can fit little sandwiches in here, little uh, little cookies and some other little things. I wish they would have had red. Samir loves red, but they didn't. It also comes with, in here, that pops up, the little fork, which I'm, they probably will never use that part of it, but I really like these and they're so easy to snap close. And they're kid friendly to open so i did that teal and then this darker blue so whichever one they really won't care but i do wish they would have had red for samir that's his favorite color that is like his go-to for everything if he's sad and needs a pick me up give him something red and he is happy as all get out i did get these watch bands for myself so it is a pack of six i figured i thought that these were really cute it has the leopard print and the different colors, so I can kind of switch it out for different outfits. Right now I have this little sparkly one. The gems are kind of popping out of this, so I want to get a different uh, cover, and then I can switch out my bands depending on my outfits or my moods. I got a bunch of earrings. These were a lot, so this pack of three was all in one pack, and then this pack of two. I lose earrings like crazy. I don't do anything fancy because I feel like the kids get a hold of them or I lose them myself. But I'm a hoops girl, always will love hoops, and I really do like pearls. And I feel like these kind of, you can match with everything. I switch it up between gold and silver, kind of just depends on what I'm wearing. But I thought that was a really good deal for all of these earrings. I was gonna get some on Shein that was just like this, but I saw these and I wanted to get a bunch of those. I'm gonna be organizing my kitchen, so I wanted to get some little organization trays. This was this whole set, you guys. And I liked that it was different variety of sizes. So that way I can store like crayons, pens, batteries, all the different things. And these ones are a little bit longer. And I liked these little individual size for like thumbtacks. And what's really cool, look, they have these little silicone things to stick so they won't slide around in your cabinet. You just peel it off, stick it to the side, and that rubber, if you can tell, is going to stick to the bottom of your cabinet so these won't slide when you open the cabinet. And then there's two bigger size. I did also get the boys a ton of underwear. These are actually just for Tank and hopefully Samira soon. Hopefully we can get him potty trained eventually. Uh, but I did astronaut ones. I thought these were really cute. <laughs> Super cute. That one's cute. And then this one was a variety of them. So it's like little dogs, little animals on there. Little rockets and ships and bus, dinosaurs. And then these like outer space ones. And then I also got for my coffee cabinet, this K-cup organization holder. So this will be nice because right now they're in a little container but they slide everywhere. I can just pop all of my K-pods in here. So I need to get stocked up. When I do film that video, I will go ahead and get this set up and Stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot of organization for my kitchen video. The last two things that I got, um, I did also get this hamper. I do wish it was a little bit bigger. I got this for Tank and Samir's room. I thought it was gonna be bigger in size. I'll do a comparison. So there's my dishwasher, there's the basket. So this will most likely just be for their toys. I'll let them just throw their toys in there because that is very little. I got it to put their dirty laundry in, but it is what it is. We'll still utilize it and use it. And then I got our sweet Lucy girl, this cat bed. How cute is this cat bed? So it's wicker. This does come out. And then you have your padded cushion that can come out. So you can easily like wipe this off in that. I'm gonna actually think I'm gonna scotch guard this. So that way um, it'll be easy to clean off. And how cute is a little cat ears, adorable. I hope she likes this. She's actually 
with the boys at my brother's house because um, her sister, they actually have a cat, which is their sister. So when the boys go over, they just have Lucy go with them so she can spend time with her sister. But I'm excited for her to use this little cat bed. It's so freaking cute. Okay, I'm done working out. I tried Pilates for the first time today, you guys. I did a 20 minute Pilates class. That thing was a burner. I might have found my new love and exercise. And then now I am drenched. I don't know if you can tell, but I just did a 20 minute hit ride on the bike. So it is 425. I need to get my butt in the shower because I have literally an hour and a half to get ready. That workout felt amazing though. My stomach was kind of like bloated and upset from that Chinese food. So working out definitely made it feel better. I don't feel as bloated and I just felt overall 100% better than what I was feeling an hour ago from eating that food. So this is what I'm wearing. This is that new shirt that I got from Maurice's. Love the fit of the jeans, you guys. They fit so good. They're long, I'm gonna wear some wedges with it, but I love the way that this shirt fits. I did put a strapless bra on, just so no bra straps wouldn't show. But I love the way it looks, it's super cute. Pair it with some gold earrings, I think. And then I'm still undecided if I want to curl my hair or straighten it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna put some, um, hair cream in it, my curly cream that I put in there, and then blow dry it and let it, let the natural, we're gonna do natural curls tonight and then do my makeup. So these are the, some little, I don't know. I feel like I need a heel because they're so long. I mean, you don't see them anyways, but toes are out. I wish they were more brown. I'm gonna look upstairs because I might have another pair of like wedge heels, but I feel like with these flares, I definitely need some wedges. You guys let me know. Well, obviously I'm gonna already be on the date by the time you guys see this video. <sighs> we'll see. Okay, I did find the brown sandals, so I'm just gonna wear these just because of the purse I'm gonna wear is that same brown. So it gives me the the wedge, but it looks like I'm just wearing sandals. So my hair is like starting to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. I look half dead right now, but I'm gonna put this curl cream in my hair. I just bought a new bottle. That's what I went to Marshall's for because as you can see, I'm like almost out of this. Love this. It makes my curls look amazing. It doesn't make it crunchy. It gives it volume, bounce, love this stuff. It's really lightweight. And then I might use a little bit of this Sprunch uh, leave-in conditioner mousse stuff, um, but I'm gonna probably put that in my hair after I blow dry if I need it. But mostly I'm gonna go on with this, blow dry my hair. slowly getting there it's kind of what I'm gonna do now um, I have this Nexus spray it's like this uh, volumizing texture spray I'm gonna flip my hair over spray some in and scrunch 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 this is the spray I always get this at Marshall's you guys they had today I found one for 550 on clearance I think it's originally like seven or eight bucks but I really like their dry shampoo as well but this will give me kind of like some texture volume to my hair Hello volume. That stuff smells really, really good. So I think I'm gonna leave my hair alone. I, I don't think I'm gonna scrunch anymore. I think I kind of like this level of it. This side's always a little bit. I have very, very thin hair. So I've been doing the flip over just to give me a little volume. This stuff smells really good.
now makeup. I am gonna do um, a little edge control, just like a little swoop right there. I'm not like really into baby hairs, I really don't like them, but I do kind of like to do a little something right there. I just get this at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, you guys, and I've had this thing forever. I probably need to get a new one, but I'm just gonna dab like that much. And then Ugh, I don't want to cooperate. Just a little. And then I ugh, usually just do that just uh that piece like wants to come back over here for some reason. Something like that. There you go. You guys are always asking how I do my makeup. So <laughs> here's your tutorial, finally. Uh, I always start with my eyebrows first. I do not do anything fancy. I literally do concealer, eyebrows, lashes. Um, I don't really ever contour. I might contour a little, my nose a little bit. Um, and then I do a little blush. That is literally it. Sometimes I don't even wear foundation. I just put concealer under my eyes, but tonight I'm gonna put a little foundation on. But for my eyebrows, I just use this NYX eyebrow pencil. Love this. I've been using this thing for probably like two years now. I like that it has the brush part and it's very like thin. As you can see, it's not too thick. So it draws like the perfect thing. So first I like to just brush up my brows. I have a decent canvas to start with. So it makes it a little bit better. And then I'm gonna just kind of trace, follow my arch pretty much. And then fill in where it's like a little empty. like that and then just brush out I do it lightly just because if you do it too hard it's gonna brush it like completely out I just kind of flick it <laughs> and kind of swoop like that and then you're gonna take your concealer um, I'm obsessed with this concealer as you can see it's almost gone I'm gonna use it till there's nothing left but I use the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I also use the powdered foundation in this too. I did get the liquid, I didn't care for it. I do like the powdered foundation. I need to get a new one. For one, it's too tan, kind of makes me look a little orange, but I dropped my makeup bag, so the foundation powder crumbled. But I'm just gonna open this up. And then what I take is a small brush, just like this, I need to clean it. And I just go like that that down and then I'm just gonna kind of trace underline just to give my brow some definition to pop out it's just like that I'm gonna blend it out don't worry and I'm gonna get some more do my other side just trace I used to oh do the top of it i don't know what's going on i can't focus i used to do the top of my brow but i feel like it makes it kind of look less natural but i always get compliments on my brows everywhere i go so i must be doing something right i just try to keep them natural and then i'm going to come in between there. I'm just going to go back through, try to soften up the rough lines. Brows are already forming. With that same before, I'm just going to go like this under my eyes. That's it. And I'm going to let that sit there until I do my lashes. So I got that done. Now I'm going to take my Ooh, I don't even know where my sponge is. I think the cat 
kind of a little bit, so I'm just gonna kind of buff it out with my brush that I use my foundation on. Good enough. My lashes are these. I've been really liking these. These are very natural looking and they're lightweight. They're not too heavy. They're not too dramatic either. They look like my real lashes. Everybody always thinks I get, oh, something's in my eye. <laughs> Everybody, oh my gosh. Good thing there's foundation under my eye. But everybody always thinks I have lash extensions when I wear these because they look so natural and real. I kind of switch between the Ardell brand and these, but these, honestly, this Kiss So Wispy brand is my favorite by far. So I'm gonna put my lashes on, and then after I put my lashes on, I'm gonna blend out that um, concealer. This is the lash glue that I use. I've used this, you guys, probably for, Samir is five, probably for like the last five, six years. This is my holy grail of eyelash glue. I can keep my eyelashes on for three days if I use this. Uh, the other one I have in here is this kind. Oh, that looks horrible. Oh, that looks bad. There's a freaking lash stuck to it. But this is the other one. I'm gonna throw this away because it's like no good. But this, I mean, it's all right. But by the end of the day, my lashes were kind of lifted in the corner. So this is like my last resort. I'm throwing that in the trash because yeah. But this one is by far, hands down, my favorite. You can get this at Target, Walmart, Amazon. I'll link everything down below for you guys. So I'm just gonna put the lash glue on my lashes. The key to your lashes sticking and staying on is I let them dry for like 30 seconds to a minute. So while my glue is sitting on my lashes, I'm gonna buff out my under eye and start applying my foundation. And then by the time I do that, I can apply my lashes and they're gonna stick perfectly. And I also use a tweezer to take my lashes out. And what I like about this lash glue is that it's a brush on. So I literally just brush. I don't put too much, but I put enough just so it, once it starts to dry, some parts aren't kind of like empty, kind of like that much. I might have to buy some more of these, I'm almost out. I really would like to know, I gotta find my blender, I feel like the cat. Nope, I found it. I need to clean this thing too. I know some people wet it. I don't even mess with that. I just kind of blend. And I know I'm weird. I put this on before I put foundation. So that way my foundation doesn't crease because this concealer literally works really, really good and it lasts all day. And my under eye is not going to crease with this foundation on. I've tried other ones. I used to get this other kind that was in a tube. I really liked, but once this brand came out, I've been using this ever since. Then now I'm gonna put my foundation with it being all broken up. I'm just gonna do a little bit, you guys, cause look, that's so orange, but we're gonna make it work. We're just gonna once it's on, it's not that bad, but. And this is lightweight. That's what I like about it. It doesn't make me break out. Get your neck. And I'm just gonna, a little bit. I know, I probably look crazy right now, but it all comes together, I promise. There's another, Sometimes I mix this. This is a concealer and hydrate foundation. Sometimes I add a little bit of that just to not make me look as orange. And it kind of blends really good. But the only thing I don't like about that, it's kind of cakey. I'm gonna have to fix my little baby here there.
good enough. Now, I don't know if I'm feeling shadow or not yet. I may or I may not put shadow on, but I like this palette. I got this at Marshall's for like five or six bucks. I'm all about the natural um, neutral colors that like just looks good on my skin complexion. But this gold I think will look nice with this yellow and I can kind of do a little shadow of I think like this brown maybe with the gold mix. I don't know, once I get my lashes on, I'll decide. I might put this uh, lip gloss on. Uh, it is the Hard Candy Stay and Slay. It has jojoba oil in it. It's moisturizing and it kind of like has like a matte effect to it. And it's like a natural soft pink. I may put that, I wanted to do a red lip because my nails, but I don't know where my red lipstick is. I gotta find it. Cause in a way I, I think I wanna do a red lip. I think a red lip will be sexy and it will look good with the orange and my nails instead of the, the baby pink. But my lashes, they are tacky. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those bad boys on. So you kind of want the, the glue to kind of start turning clear. And that's when you know they're good to go. So I always kind of grab from the corner there and then I start placing it on that corner. And then kind of, oh, that didn't go as planned. Stick it like that. See? But I'm gonna mess with it a little bit just to make sure it's secure. And then what I do, I get the end, and I kind of just press. I need more glue. That's why I say put a decent amount because once it dries, since it's tacky though, it's gonna go on pretty decent. I might put a little more on my other eye. I kind of let that sit a little bit too long. We're gonna try again. Since I just put that on, I'm just gonna blow, because it's pretty tacky. That fly, I'll be so glad when some flies are gone. It's pretty uh, sticky already. I like to spread my eye just so I can lay it good. Try to get it to the corner the best that you can. I start from the outside, I never start from the inside. There we go, much better. And what I do, I just push up. There we go, one on. I'm gonna put the other one on off camera though. So both of my lashes are on. See what I mean guys, they look so natural. And what I do, I take it to a whole nother level to blend it more. I curl it and then I'm gonna apply some mascara. So I'm gonna just put that on. And then curl and press. That's just gonna blend. and kind of push up my real lashes because my real lashes are so straight with these. And then I'm gonna get some, I don't even think I'm gonna do um, eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put some mascara on. Oh, I hate when that happens. There we 
we go. I think I'll do a little more. I don't like getting it everywhere but my eyes. I'm just gonna, I can always put some concealer on there if it looks too noticeable, but. Oh yeah, that's, see, natural face, nice and soft. I am gonna contour my face a little bit. I just use this palette. Um, this is pretty much the color I use. I have this brush just to do a little kind of squeeze, suck my lip to the side like that. Same thing. And then I take, I have this little brush here to kind of do my nose. Just a little bit. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna brush that as far as I can. Just down the middle like that. And then I always go back and kind of just dab a little bit under there because I'm gonna put, see, I don't always put mascara on my bottom lash just because sometimes it runs, but I might just do a little. Just a little, I don't like to do too much. And then I can dab that out, dab that out. Dab that out. And kind of just rub. Nose a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my brush that I use my foundation and kind of just blend. And then I'm gonna take my blush. I got this NARS pink blush. This is the color. It is Desire, my favorite blush. I get my blush um, brush and I just dab a little and kind of go like that. Dab a little and kind of go like that. And then I am gonna set some finish spray. I just got this Milani, God, my hair is everywhere. This Milani um, finishing spray, it's floral scented. It smells really good. And I'm just gonna spray So it sets my face. That's it. I really am gonna go find some red lipstick because I think red lipstick is really gonna set this off. I did find some red lipstick. I got this Morphe. This is pickup line. It's this really pretty red. So I'm just gonna. It's literally like that blood orange red like my nails. So it's like a orange, orange red, but my nails are like that. Uh, I'm gonna put just this clear gloss. There we go. 
that is my <laughs> simple makeup routine you guys very simple it is now 5 51 i made perfect timing and getting ready all right you guys uh it is like almost time for me to get ready to head out it is now 5 53 i made an amazing time i'm gonna add some perfume this is hands down my favorite perfume this is the coach signature absolutely love this perfume it smells so good it's like a soft sweet elegant scent if you like ever want to buy me a gift you buy me this i'm gonna love you forever so just squeeze my wrist it smells so good that's gonna sum up today's video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed kind of coming along for my self-care saturday and like get ready with me I'm gonna head to my date. We're going to dinner and to the casino. So this is my outfits. I don't know if you can fully see, but I'm gonna just wear this crossbody because it matches my, I can't even lift my feet. It matches my, my sandals, I'll show you. But it all looks really good together. Love this top, I love the color. They match. Perfectly. I love these pants. They're so, so stretchy and so soft. Make sure you guys subscribe if it is your first time. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube fam here. My curls look really, really good. Once it kind of dries more, it looks better. But thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, say hello down in the comments. Also let me know, would you have chose the brown sandals? like I ended up wearing with the purse or the first pair of shoes that I had on. Let me know in the comments. I would love to know kind of what you would have paired with this outfit. And I just realized I didn't put any earrings on. So I'm gonna put those on and then it's time to go. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you guys are. Bye.